Hi everyone, it's the Psychic Sleuth, and I'm here today, and I'm going to be doing, please don't shoot me if I say this wrong, um, Shanann Watts, and the reason why I wanted to do it was I wanted to give her a voice, but also I've had many people asking me to do it. I've already channeled her once for her friends, and she's a talker. I mean, she had me going for about an hour, and um, it was, she just had a lot she wanted to say. I can assure you that I know nothing about the case. I only um, knew basically that they were missing for a short time. And during that time, I was asked to look for them. And what uh, the only thing that I got was I re got was shown a gun and I was shown a sandy area. Come to find out, now we know um, they were found in a sandy area. Uh, my, my team validates this stuff for me after I do the reading. I know that there's a lot of information out there about her, but if I know too much about a case, I will not work it. I just won't. Um, I don't like to be led. I don't like to know anything prior. I like to go in blind and my team can attest to you that I didn't know this stuff about the case. Um, the only thing I knew was that, you know, she had been killed in her kids had been killed by the husband and um, she was pregnant. I did not know with what or anything like that. So that's basically it. I didn't know, like I said, the area or anything, um, but I had gotten sand. So now that makes sense. Um, I did her reading a little different than the other ones. Instead of auto writing, I did it like an actual reading with some group members. So um, this is a lot better for me. It's a lot more uh, focused, hyper-focused. Um, it With auto rights, I get many cases and it gets kind of confusing as to what belongs to who. I do believe that in Molly's case, I did pick up Shanann. I do actually believe that. And some of you had mentioned that. And I think the, the girl with the green eyes and the dark hair was actually her. Um, cause I had seen, you know, the tears in her eyes and everything. And I, I did find, come to find out she does have green hair and it is possible that the baby also belonged to her. Now that I'd done this reading and I found out what the baby is, it is very possible that that is what I was being shown and why I was being shown it. Um, so it is possible, like I said, with auto rights, that does happen. And that's why it makes it a little confusing. So it's kind of why I wanted to do it, start doing my readings this way. So it's not as confusing for you guys. It's more of like a storyline. Um, but I can, like, I, I can assure you I knew nothing, like, no details or anything about the case. So I will do my best to try to read my own writing because um, I, I wrote it down after we finished. Uh, I will try to go slow. I know I tend to go a little fast, and I don't mean to. Sometimes I don't know how much time left I have on my phone. Um, I can tell you that her energy is super strong, and when I channeled her before, like I said, she kept me on for like an hour or so just talking. And um, she's been around for the last couple days uh, because she has been giving me flashes here and there of certain things. So I truly believe she has been. Um, so I first asked my team if she was blonde at one time. And later they had told me that she did have blonde highlights back in the day. Um, but I, I went ahead and I decided to channel her again for because um, people kept asking me and I wanted to give her a voice. Um, I just want to keep stressing I don't know anything about the case. Just I know I'm going to get a lot of crap about that. Um, but I can tell you, I, I swear on the Bible, I didn't know anything. Uh, I know that there's a lot out there. Uh, because after I finished my reading, they were validating for me. So, in the very beginning, she was rubbing her hands together. Like, um, are you ready? <laughs> and I was nauseous, and I figured maybe that might have been from the pregnancy and her energy. Because it's super strong. And she kept showing me a toxic relationship. Uh, very abusive on both sides. She says it wasn't always like that. She says, um, uh, 
uh, that we used to be in love. And I see them pushing at each other and yelling. And I keep, they, she kept showing me smoothies. And I felt like really anxious. And I was moving my hands a lot and fidgeting a lot. Uh, she says, one day it just changed. Says, I really don't know what happened. Says, I meant I had a, I mean, I had a temper. He had a temper. And when fire meets ice, hurricane meets tornado. She says, it's sad how love can change like that. Makes me feel it's a lot like a twin flame relationship. If it's not, um, it's, it's very, very similar. She says, I know, she says, I know exactly what she's talking about because I went through that. But the son of a bitch lost it, she says. I was going to leave him, you know. She shows me bruises and talks about how his behavior changed. She says she wasn't perfect. She says um, at one time they she did drugs, but I think it was like way long time before that. Um, and he possibly did too. Says, you know, I don't know how we got to where we did. This is all just crazy. She said he started acting unkind towards the kids, started to despise them, make little jokes that weren't really funny, dark humor of his, the psychopath, and how fucking dare he say that I would ever hurt my kids in that way. And how... Fucking dare he say that I would ever hurt my kids in that way. I'm not perfect. I was mean at times. What mom doesn't lose it? But I wouldn't kill them with my bare hands. Sick fuck. She shows me they put up a front in front of friends and family. They were not what they seemed. Things were not what they seemed. He began to despise her, and she shows me she started to become independent. Part of the plan to leave, she says, I was good at what I did. I, al I had always, I had a way with people. I was likable. I was professional. She is showing me packed bags for a trip, kisses girls goodbye, shows me a plane, says she had a good good time but a sick feeling um talks about a couple of us arguments he knew i was planning on leaving even if i didn't come right out and say it but i was going to he had and if i can't have you no one else can kind of and no one else will raise my kids plus wanted a life of his own he needed to be he needed us to be wiped out and you won't leave me. I'll make sure of it. Control freak. But he can have but he can have an affair. People, unless they are in an abusive relationship, don't understand how hard it is to leave. I'm not an angel. Shit. I was a devil with a halo. Best of both. But I wouldn't take anyone's life. Let alone my kids. So she comes home and on her way there is this awful feeling in the pit of her stomach and she doesn't know why he sounded different this is probably why I was shown a gun before but she showed me her coming in and the kids were like nowhere to be found um, nowhere to be seen thought she just thought it was weird and it was so quiet and I'm shown rope and duct tape and I had felt a, a neck pain in the beginning like right here in the left side of my neck and it was like there the whole time um, and so she gets home and he acts like everything's okay but tells her the kids are in their room now I don't know if they shared a room or not but she shows me them in the room together and she opens the door like kind of like a crack 
it's never quiet around here. Sorry about that. Um, and um, they're tied up. And I know people say he, that he killed them before she came home, but she's always showed me this. Um, it's always been right there that he made her suffer in this way. So then she feels something in her back. And it's cold and round and it was in the like pressed up against the middle of her back. And he had a gun to her back and he wanted her to see her kids tied up and freak out. Told me he was going to blow me away if I screamed or fought. And then, bam, my head hits the wall and lights out. Um, oh, he thought about this for a long time. She is showing me dollar signs, so I'm curious if there's a life insurance policy on all of them or some of them. Um, says he's tired of being tied down by family. Uh, my head hurt right where she showed, showed me that she was hit. And she wakes up tied to a chair. And this is the part that I think I saw when I was doing Molly's case. And her hands were tied, her hands were tied to the chair arms and her lips were taped. And then something about the knots he tied. And he makes her listen and watch as he murders her children. And then um, he turns to her. And he says he wanted to make her suffer torture her before her own passing. He wanted to make her feel the agony of not being able to save them, of watching them take, of watching him take their lives. She says, he said he was going to kill them before I got home, but he thought this would be a way of punishing me. He's evil. And then that's where I saw her life slip away in that vision I had in the Molly's um, reading that I did. The tears and the green eyes and being strangled. The devil always hit it well around people. Was such a shock to everyone. He's a dumbass, though, to hide us at his work. First place they are going to look what a dumbass. But I'm glad he's stupid because he didn't get away with it. I was shown oil and then I was shown sand again that I was shown before. And it's like kind of that, um, like sandy sand, like almost like desert sand, kind of like whitish color. And then this, um, and then those things that go up and down, like that pump oil. I know we have them here in California. I don't know what they're called. Um, cops know, knew something was fishy with this. She's missing. She left me for another man. Take the kids and left story. Oldest trick in the book, she says. They didn't buy it, not for one second. There is a possibility he dies in there, but I hope he lives knowing what he did. Death is too good for his ass. What I want done and what... I've seen what I've said before is some kind of foundation for abuse. Women need help. Kids need help. I know this is a shock to everyone that knew us. It goes to show people can hide things well. I want to thank everyone for the love and support. She says we are great over, over here. Uh, we have nothing to worry about. Or, Sorry. I read that wrong. My writing sucks. Uh, don't worry about us. We are all together. We are happy. He's getting what he deserves. And we over here are at peace. And she shows me doves. She says it's beautiful here. Extremely beautiful. She says never in your wildest dreams... Would you ever know, even know, because the colors are like a million times more vibrant. There is no trash, no hate, no pain, no hurt, only love. So I need the world to know that we are okay. We are happy. The girls are happy. I 
Phil, her baby, was a boy because I was shown a, boy, a blue blanket. Um, and with this love comes forgiveness. It's just the way that it is. We understand from a higher perspective. I learned a lot from this life, from all of this. I hope that my voice will help those like me. And I know he tried... I know he tried to put hurting my girls on me. I would never. And it doesn't make sense. Why hide the bodies? I didn't hurt my girls. I'm not perfect, but never. She says she wants to say, I love you to friends and family. Thank you for honoring me in the ways that you have. And she's showing me people lighting candles and a huge memorial. She says it's time to go now and wants to thank you for listening. Says thanks to me for giving her a voice. She says she knows that she can drain. She's very strong energy, which she was. I wanted to pass out afterwards. But that's how she was in life. Strong personality. Shows me her laugh. Um... Says it was loud at times. Shows me like a late, like ladies holding up um, glasses to cheers, you know, like how they hold it up in the movies kind of thing. Um, I see all the glasses clean together. It's red wine, like Cabernet. And so I don't know if that could be symbolic for celebration. Uh, no clue why I was shown fireworks either, and I know usually that's for the 4th of July, but it could be symbolic, so it might be something around that time, or it might be symbolic. Uh, she's walking into the light, and I feel like I want to pass out after all that, like really, it was really draining. Uh, she was making me fidgety. Uh, I finished at 1.11 a.m., which is interesting. I felt high in a way, like not on drugs, but just from her energy. And she's very energetic, and I had a drunk feeling too, and I don't know if that was from the Cabernet feeling or just from her energy. I was shown after this reading validations um, for the candles and the area she was buried, so that matched, and it was significant. Also, she had mentioned uh, significant tattoos. I don't know if they were for her kids or pets or something. There was something, some kind of significant tattoo that she had done. Um, and so that's it. Uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for liking, subscribing, and listening. I appreciate it, you guys. Until next time.